Hi, this is Sam with Yo-Yo Sam, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to clean your bearing. Before we begin, let's take a look at what you need. Uh, you need pliers or something else to get the bearing out of your yo-yo, a needle, a glass jar, mineral spirits, a paintbrush or pen, paper towel, and lubricant, although that is optional for this process. So, let's begin. First you'll need your yo-yo bearing. Now this is just a regular C size bearing, nothing special about it, although it does need a good cleaning. Uh, now this first process is going to involve taking off the bearing shield. Uh, the bearing shield is held in by a little tiny piece of metal that sits in between the body of the bearing and the shield, uh, sort of squeezing it on top. Now you can remove this by locating a gap in this piece of metal, uh, which I'm pointing to right here. It's hard to locate, uh, but when you'll find it, you'll know it. Now you want to take your pin or needle, um, and you want to get under that piece of metal right on the edge. Now this process isn't, process isn't easy, um, and you have to be very careful as you can stab yourself with a needle or launch this piece out of the yo-yo and lose it. Um, you can see this is it here. Now once you've done that, you can just tip your bearing over and the shields should come right out, like so. Uh, and now this is the inside of the bearing and probably the part that needs cleaning. So, the next step we want to do is take off the other side. Now again, you want to be very careful in this process. It's not easy, so don't rush it. So you want to find that gap and get that piece of metal out of the yo-yo. One thing to note is that one end of this, uh, of this little metal, metal piece sticks up more than the other. Now you want to find the end that sticks up and get your needle under that side. You can see here that that is the part that's sticking up. This part is not, so I won't be able to get my needle under the other one. This one is the one you want to go for. Next step, you want to bring in your mineral spirits. You don't need very much at all, but you do need it in a glass jar. Uh, here I have about half of an ounce um, of mineral spirits. Uh, again, you can use lighter fluid, lamp oil, um, and that should do the trick. So, put it in the jar, seal up the jar, and give it a good shake. I shake mine for about three or four minutes um, and let it sit in there for another two or so. Um, and that should do the trick. I'll fast forward through this. Once that's ready to go, you're going to need your paper towel and your paintbrush or pen. You're really just going to need the end of the paintbrush or the tip of the pen. Um, this is to remove the bearing out of the mineral spirits so you don't get it on your hands. Uh, because you don't want to touch it or breathe it uh, as it's very, very toxic and flammable. So here I'm going to stick the end of my paintbrush into the jar and just take it right out. And then I'm going to put it right onto the paper towel. First I'm going to seal my jar here. Um, put put on, right onto the paper towel uh, just, just to dry it off a little bit. Now this is an important time to note that you're going to want to keep you know your environment very clean because now the bearing is very vulnerable to get dirty all over again and you'd have to clean it again. Then you want to take the bearing and just spin it onto that paintbrush. Now this is going to spin it dry um, so that the mineral spirits is, is going to get out of its system um, and it'll be good to go. At this point your bearing is clean. So, now is the point in the process where you can apply some lube, uh, if you prefer. Uh, this isn't 100% uh, necessary. I certainly wouldn't discourage it because it will help uh, your yo-yo and certainly prolong its life. Um, so to do so, um, you just take the cap off the lube, and I'm just going to put one drop of lub lubricant into this bearing. All right, like so. Um, it really doesn't need more than that, so that should work just fine. At this point, I, I put one shield back on the other side just to save a little bit of time for you guys. Um, but to put the other side back on, you, you put the shield right into the bearing. It should fit snugly. 
Uh, then you're going to want to take this little tiny metal piece here and uh, you're just going to want to stick it back in between the body of the bearing and that shield. Now this is tricky. Um, you know, probably uh, it takes an equal amount of time as it does getting it out. Um, and my advice is really just to start on one end and sort of work your way around uh, the circle of the bearing, um, getting it into that groove that it sits in. Uh, you can see I've almost done it here. I just need to get that last end in there. And there we are. I certainly hope that helped you guys. Uh, so I hope you have some clean bearings from here on out. And I'm Sam with Yo-Yo Sam.